Um, so I guess I would say the, the, the main thing that I suggest when looking at creating online learning is to be very careful about considering the types of interactions that, that are being designed into the course. So what I mean by that is that I'm, I'm just shocked by the amount of online learning that I see that is just a dump of content out to the learners. Uh, anybody who's taken a course like that uh, hates it. It's boring. It doesn't in engage the, the person sitting there clicking through the screens with the content. Um, and it flies in the face of all we know about good learning. So what, what do we know about good learning? Well, one is that we know that it is inherently a social activity. So people learn about content as they interact with other people about that content, not just by reading or watching videos about it. It's through the social interactions that we learn about something. So when we're developing online learning, we, we can't forget that. We gotta do that same sort of thing. Um, so one suggestion that I have is, is I always ask people to sort of make a, a mental uh, pie chart, if you will, about the types of interactions that exist. And to consider that there are three types of interactions. Um, and these come from uh, a, a respected educational researcher named uh, Michael Moore. And he wrote an article in 1989 and said that there are three types of interactions that need to exist in order to have an effective online learning experience. And those interactions are learner content interactions, learner-learner interactions, and learner-expert interactions. So again, if you make a, a pie chart in your mind and think in the online learning that you're developing or in the program that you're developing, how much of what you're doing is learner content, how much is learner-learner, how much is learner-expert. Um, what I find when I ask this question is usually it looks something like this. There is a, a large percentage is just content push out to the learner. And then sometimes there's a small amount of learner expert interaction and if ever there's a tiny sliver of learner learner interaction um, and so if you look at it in, in that way you see that pretty quickly we need to get some other types of interaction here in order to have it become become meaningful um, we know that talking just about the tools that we use does not guarantee that there are effective interactions and that's why I like to talk about interactions instead of just tools you can have uh, really effective online learning tools and still not have a very interactive environment. We know that from the classroom. You can have a classroom and have a really great learning experience and you can have in that same classroom um, a, a really awful learning experience. The, the classroom didn't change. It's what's happening inside that space. And the same with the tools. And so uh, when you look at developing online learning, how are you making sure that you're involving, you're putting in their interactions, social interactions, that bring students together and bring students and connect students to experts? and not just push content out to them. Um, fortunately, there's a lot of ways to do this. There's a lot of great tools that are available. Um, Facebook, Twitter, wikis, blogs, there's a whole bunch of, uh, of tools that make it really easy to connect people to each other. But they have to be conscious design decisions. If you're not deciding to do that as you develop an online course, it very quickly um, becomes data content dump out to the students. And then you get back into the traditional, what I call nexter computer-based trainings, where you hit next, 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 next through, and at the end you uh, take a little quiz, and you know if you haven't fallen into a coma before it's over, you get some sort of credit. Uh, that's not effective learning. And so, so if we can keep in mind what makes learning work, and that is social interactions, and build that into online learning experiences, I think they'll be very effective. Uh, and if not, then I think we're, we're in a lot of trouble and we really need to, to consider what we're, what we're doing before we invest any more money into uh, online learning.